Hello people, Splits here. Welcome to part two of Roller Coaster Tycoon World. There's been some updates from Envideo Atari uh, in the graphics, animation department, sound department, uh, in the coaster fix, some added content. Let's take a look at them. Okay, the first thing you can see, um, the water, uh, it's got ripples, uh, it's a lot more vibrant, sharper, now we've got full uh, reflections, it's great, um, and apparently they're still doing more work on the water. Uh, if you remember from the, in the beginning when the game first came out, it was that, like that horrid thinking blue, so they've definitely moved on from there. I don't have the graphics on maximum. Uh, the reason being, with this new patch, uh, I'm not quite sure if it did with the last patch, but the uh, settings will refuse to save. Doesn't matter what I do, I can't not get them to save. You go to graphics settings, change things, go back to the menu, go straight back to the graphics, and uh, it'll be completely different to what you just set it 10 seconds ago. I'm gonna let reflection in colour, um, and you've got the boat, fantastic. Okay, onto the animation, um, you can see they're a lot smoother when they walk, and the positions of their arms, uh, on a lot of the characters and now in the right spot um, they've got the right animation to do what they want to do and I'm not quite sure what he's doing uh, to be honest but you can see now it's, they've also added items from the shops so he's got the alien uh, if you remember correctly in the beginning everyone just had the uh, black teddy balloon uh, so that's an improvement Quite sure what's on with him. I look, you can see there, he's obviously holding something, but uh, we can't see it, so that's still a bug. See, so yeah, he's got an item, uh, it looks like he's a uh, walk around dying to go to the lavatory as well. Um, okay, the janitors, I saw a janitor a minute ago. She's disappeared, but the janitors and medics uh, now walk a lot faster. Um, they no longer get stuck on pathways. Um, now the patch I'm talking about is actually, I think, it came out on the 19th or the 20th of April. So, if you still got those bugs, make sure you stick them on the, the forums. Okay, coaster. They've added um, new physics to the coaster. Uh, it's actually a good thing, or in some cases a, a bad thing. If you had uh, coasters made uh, before the patch, you may find out now they don't work. What happens, your car flies off the circuit or it doesn't go around and gets stuck in a loop. Um, what they've done, See this tab here, grease the tracks. Um, you click on that, it apparently um, puts the coaster back to the state before the patch. Now I've tried that and it never seemed to fix my coaster. The other thing is now they've added 16 trillion gazillion colours. 
Get a pallet. As you can see, um, and you can save them. Um, the colour set set up, um, and you can then add that to other coasters. And I believe you're going to add it to rides as well, so you have the same theme throughout. And so on the physics, um, well, on this particular coaster, it has not fixed anything to do with my G-Force. It still runs at 20G. Um, but apparently the brake system doesn't work correctly. Uh, it's rather... It doesn't seem to slow down the coaster. Or the train, I should say. It just brings it to a right stop. So, I've got brakes on just before the loops and it just does not do nothing. Uh, and the coaster runs at the same speed. So that might be the reason why the G-Force is still too high. Um, if I put the brakes up, then it just stops, um, and it doesn't do anything at all. So we'll just leave that until next patch, or whenever patch lead comes out to fix the coaster. Okay, last part. Um, I've added this, the gold mine. Uh, you can put your coaster through it. Not sure about that top hole, because it's got a uh, track in it already. Um, we'll soon find out. Okay, on top of this, they've also added um, spotlights. So you can now um, brighten up your, your rides in the dark. Uh, I think there's five spotlights, uh, I think different angles. Yeah, I've got one there, what I shoved on just before we went live, uh, to see what it looked like. These um, allocating into the right position, but it will do for the time being. Okay, let's carry on from where we left off. Um, I did something here on... I actually thought I was recording this, but uh, I found out it wasn't recording. I'm sorry about that. I've added a fence around this top part, put these two um, fountains in, added some gardens, got to finish off the gardens. Uh, I've got to fix the path here, because I can't get the signpost in for entry. It's overlapping with this one, so I've got I know, move the ride or do something with the path. I'll have to work that one out in a minute. In the meantime, we've got to do some more more rocks here, round here, do this garden. We do some of it on cam and some off cam. It takes a long old time to get done. The old spotlights so I like the coaster. Um, I do one where it rotates the light. We'll stick a few of those in there. The other way better shot, I think. Oh, one other thing, nearly forgot. Most important, social hub now works. You can now update, um, upload all the items on the uh, UGC. It's brilliant. Um, I mean, some absolutely fantastic items on there. Also, rate them. Look at some great spotlights. Uh, nice train. Um, give that a go. The station. I um, mean, the models out there are doing a great job. Um, can't complain, they bring games like this to life. Um, fantastic.
Okay, um, before we move on uh, to do the rest of the park, I'm going to show you how to do some uh, terrain work. Uh, some people have asked me how do I manage to get the rocks um, and other items in the lake, um, and how I managed to do terrain work under the coaster about getting a, a great big ravine line uh, following the tracks. I'll show you how to do it. Okay, first let's make a couple of ponds. Okay, we've got one with water in, and one with, well, not supposed to have any water in it. Um, we'll try and put a rock in there. Don't have to be a rock, it can be anything really. Um, try a really tree. See, what happens, uh, when you've got water in, you can't add in an item. The water is classed as a, a solid object, I suppose. And it just doesn't allow you to add anything um to enter it uh, so the only way you can get around that if you've already done the, the lake is suckle the water back out and add the items yeah, so then we, uh, we've added uh the trees into the water bit of a swampy feel looks good okay now the coaster So what happens when you make a coaster and you want to do like a, a hill or some sort of you know, a water underneath, um, it, you can't be done. What happens, you get the, uh, you can only go round the outside of the, the coaster and you get this. Uh, I suppose you could always fill it up with water. Uh, then they run out, don't work. <laughs> so what I do, um, simple really. I actually draw, um, on the ground first, uh, certain points um, or features what I know. So I know the coast is going to go down here, and I'm going to have a drop come down. So I could put some like rocks on the ground, look like the uh, coat you're going to hit into the, the rocks, smash into trees, or even do it on the lake where the little the little ponds we made. Um, like we can go over here and say, okay, we're going to have a hill here, a little hill there. So basically, do your terrain first, and go back to the coaster.
but now you can see we ain't got the ravine uh, we've got a hilly terrain under the coaster um, you can see we can have a right drop there uh, right down to the water um, on the pond let's have a look see where the coaster looks so we're going to fly off the rails that's if we get that far As it comes down, it looks like you're going to go into the water. So basically, you need to do a terrain first uh, before you make your coaster. Like I said the easiest way for me is to mark out with a paint, a paintbrush, where the coaster is going to go, uh, where the hills are going to be, put the hills in, uh, put the lakes in, uh, then do the coaster afterwards, follow the terrain you want it to go. Simple really, hope that uh, works for you, uh, it does for me, right let's move on to the park. Okay, um, let's do this garden work here, uh, there's some bushes in that under those trees. It's actually a pity, um, I've got about five, six bushes there. And it doesn't allow you, well, hopefully they will add something in the future where you can actually grab the whole lot and sort of like, okay, copy, paste, here, here, so and so. So we've got another batch of, uh, of bushes. You may be thinking, um, why don't I use Snap? Um, ooh, snap puts items in a certain location, then you get gaps. And uh, I don't want no gaps, uh, so I'll just uh, take Snap off. Um, this basically just fill up the spaces really as much as possible. Which again is also, I don't use Snap on fencing. Uh, I find it very awkward doing fence posts, brick walls. Um, I mean, maybe the, the user interface will improve over time. Um, well, we might make use of it. But at this moment in time, uh, I certainly don't use it. Um, again, the, grid, the grids also. Uh, a, a, a good feature and a bad feature. Uh, problem with the grid, uh, when you first start the game, it's all nice and square from the entrance. The grid's all nice and square with the entrance. As soon as you start putting in curves, uh, it, well, it don't it really, if you notice it, it's not, it's not a straight angle uh, no more. Not with a uh, certain paths, like that one there, see, that's like a straight path, but it's not perfect, and it just goes out of sync uh, more and more, and uh, I mean, if you could ro rotate the grid to go with you, where you've turned the path, 
I'll be fine. Um, but it doesn't. It only allows you to do like if you had all the last grid pattern, like uh, an American city where everything's uh, squared up, like the road system, it'd be, it'd be great. But uh, we don't on the air, um, so we don't use it. It is good. I'd notice it's good for on the grid. Well, if the path system worked properly, it would be great. Because um, it actually tells you where all the nodes are, uh, all the snap points, if you want to call them snap points, on the paths. But since it, uh, the path system don't work, um, it's a bit pointless really going into it, really. <laughs> I still got snap one. Well, I'm not getting any more in here. Okay, go to this piece. One thousand flowers later. I've got that part done. Um, let's do a bit over here. I thought I had some more garden flowers, these red ones, but another 500 or so um, along here, around here, make it fairly the same. Some here, brightens the place up, um, just takes a lot of time. Uh, so we carry on with those bits off cam. Remember that more vegetation. Um, I've noticed um, makes people happier. Uh, in some places, you can actually see um, when you get people walking down a path, and they've got plain area. And you start dropping flowers. Uh, they suddenly start smiling. Um, so the greener, the greener the place, happier peeps. Okay, get it now. Slowly. A few more to do.
I suppose it would be good if I um, allowed you to actually use a, a brush design. So area fill uh, flowers um, and place individual ones afterwards. Um, it may come. I've not actually seen it on the forums. I think I might have to post it. And ask the question. So this does take some time. I thought rock bill was took me ages. Um, but when I do the rocks, I just bang them all over the place. Turn a few here and there. Change a few, and it don't take long. Um, one with this one. Uh, you want to fill all the gaps up. I don't always fit. Get that one in. Uh, I'll have to do a modification there somewhere. And it would be nice if they actually made it the base of it uh, square. It keeps going out of shape. Um, you've got to keep twisting it around to get them to fit. of it I actually do this for a living gardening so I'm not, I'm not planting 20,000 flowers on here I'm doing it elsewhere all right let's sort out this damn gap Solve it. Perfect. Can okay, you go around here? We can. Add a few there. And that'll be it, I think. Um, do we do something else? Flower arranging. Long time. Very time consuming. Uh, but the overall effect looks great in the game. Um, shouldn't think the majority of people will play the game do something like this, uh, they just stick the rods down, um, and so and so, but for me, I mean, I actually play, well, I don't really play the game, I'm more interested in doing a creative uh, thing of designing something, um, put something in my head, so, oh, I wouldn't mind giving that a go, uh, in the game, and building this and building that, and what happens. Um, if I played the game, well, I can stick 25 rows down in about an hour. It's like, okay, I'm done now. What do I want to do next? Uh, so for me, this is the first thing I do is create a, the weld, um, then do the rides afterwards. Um, and just check every now and then. Um, if it ain't blown up, the park ain't blown up with a uh, god knows what. Uh, I see that I've lost a thousand peats for some weird reason. Um, now according to the forums, uh, you get to about 1200, 1400 people, then they start leaving, uh, then they come back. Now I don't know if uh, if that's been deliberate. Considering we had a bug where you got to like 2000 people, it slowed down, got to about 2300, 400, and again crashed. And I thought maybe they 
to come up with a quick fix. If we keep bringing people in, letting people leave, bring more people in, and so on back and forwards. Um, stops the game crashing. You can carry on doing what you want. Um, in my aspects, it's great, uh, but it's overall. I mean, at the end, they come to the achievement rating. You are supposed to get 10,000 people. Um, but the game's obviously not been optimised in, in the speed mode area. So I, I, they must know that's quite a way off. Um, hopefully that will, will come in uh, upgrades in patches in the very near future. Okay, got to figure out what to do now. next now. Okay, let's uh, get some shrubs down on this terrain here. Uh, paint this in. Looks a bit... Uh, Boring, I was. Now, trees, trees, trees. It's a pity they don't do these uh, in an autumn colour. Uh, when the leaves have gone a bit brownish. Uh, it look, it look a lot. Oh, I don't want one of them. I don't want an apple tree. Where's he gone? Jack's pine. There we are. Let's take one more of those in. Um, some Christmas trees in. That looks better already. Um, got to get some foliage done. Um, we've got to figure out what we've got to do uh, on the other side. Still not quite sure what I will, I will do there yet. Foliage, foliage.
Well, it looks better. Uh, looks boring now. Yeah, that's pretty good. Um, we'll have a mountain around the back of that. So I uh, certainly changed the effect when I've done that. Done that. Um, bring this out. Uh, we've got member. He's locked this big old lake, and we have a stream coming off here or a river coming off here somewhere. Okay, um, I've quickly done a mounted, uh, moved a path around to the right here. Uh, done some pride in some locations where we'll set up soon. Um, but we'll do that in part three. Uh, we'll just have a quick look at the park um, before we go on to part three. So we added some trees here, um, a lot of flowers, some more rocks around this side. I had a lot more there, uh, got a bit of fence in there as well. Uh, a few other things, it's a bit plain at the moment. Uh, we'll see. Um, this area we keep open. Um, probably have another coaster in there. Uh, so, a few more rides and some more shops, maybe. We'll see. I say maybe mine up yet, what we're going to put there. Okay, we'll leave it there um, and we'll see you in part three. Like is all.